<laughs> Good morning. I may have misspoken last week when I announced the arrival of summer. This morning it's been snowing and it was 7 degrees centigrade when I woke up. But despite the holiday weekend, it's uh, been a busy period. Let's go have a look. Perhaps the most eye-catching events this week have been the arrival of the wide steel beams from Hamilton. We'll look at that later, but in the meantime, let's start in the West End. I forgot to mention last week that the assembly of the Gomaco concrete laying machine is almost complete. Looking over the west abutment, it's clear that a great deal of activity is taking place atop the concrete girders. In this aerial view of the concrete tops, you can see just how far the work of laying slabs has progressed. And as we get closer to shore, you can see new walkways on either side. Further out along the causeway, Pier 15 saw the delivery of concrete this week for the pedestals. The activity appeared to be supervised by a local osprey. Once again, a bucket or hopper was employed to deliver the mix. Another major development this week was on Pier 12, on the left here, which has been incomplete for some time. This week, framing, which will allow the concrete cap to be formed, has been installed. And the pier is now surrounded by the rebar that will be installed likely next week to enable concrete to be delivered. Pier 12's significance can be seen more clearly here, where it becomes evident that it's essential to the continuation of the run of concrete girders. There can be no question though that the eye is drawn to the major steel structure on the east side. And this week saw six new sections delivered from Hamilton. After thundering down the 401 at highway speed, they turn on to highway 15. The final turn on to Gore Road, with even the widest load, is taken without a moment's hesitation. That should not lead you to misappreciate the level of skill and professionalism of the drivers concerned. But getting the steel here is only half the story. This week, four steel sections were installed, two long and two wide. The first task is always to lift the beam from the trailer, then it's turned to the vertical before it's swung into place. Note here that the beam has to be transitioned 180 degrees to fit. Immediately after the installation of each section, a lot of work goes into installing braces and struts to reinforce the structure. Very occasionally, even in mid-lift, a minor problem will occur. In this case, perhaps involving an adjustment to the motor that regulates the height of one end. But all's well that ends well, and eventually the pieces are in place and the iron workers are in a position to secure them. Then, once again, it's time for immediate reinforcement. An interesting consequence of raising the lift bridge became apparent this week. The iron workers, who are busy on the steel structure, now have to take a boat most days back to the car park on the east side. Before we close this update though, we've already seen an osprey. It's time to note that there are one or two other interesting neighbours this is Mabel, 
A mallard duck has nested in a local garden for several years with her latest brood of fearless ducklings. And everybody will recognise the ubiquitous Canada geese. You're welcome to leave a comment about Canada geese below or anything else you wish. Alright, that's another update under our belt. Don't forget to make sure you receive the updates and get notifications. Like, subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching.